guys, this is Grace and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing the items that I have picked out for my next 10 handmade cards, one homemade kit video. And this is going to go live in the month of April. So with April, I'm thinking about flowers because of spring. And I have been seeing a lot of the big flower stamps and techniques that they use with that. So I figured I will try to maybe mimic or just try them out for myself, but of course using the stuff that I already have on hand. If you are new to my channel or new to this series, what I do is I pull together a basically a card kit that I had put together using uh, items that are in my stash. I know that there's a lot of card kits out there and they're all great. Um, there's been times where I've actually kind of coveted them and wanting to get them, but I also know that I have a lot of items in my stash that I could use. So that's why I created this series and I have been doing this, I think this is my third year if I'm not mistaken. So if you want to see all the other ones that I've created in the past, make sure that you check out the um, playlist in my YouTube channel. It should say 10 handmade cards, one homemade kit. So the inspiration for this comes from this flower set. This is from um, Inspired by Stamping and it's their, their Happy Mother's Day stamp. And this is the only like really nice flower, big flower that I have. The other ones are smaller. And so this is the flower that I'm going to try to use for some of those techniques that I've seen them use for big floral accents. So that is my stamp. Another smaller or another flower stamp that I have, but this one's the smaller one. I've used this before. Um, it's a pretty pink posh. It's the um, Bold Blooms. I like that it's small and also that it's a layering stamp. So you can actually create, I'm thinking I want to create some backgrounds using the flowers that's in this, um, in this set. So that's my idea on that. And then I have a lot of stamps that I pulled out for this particular kit. Not sure if I'm going to use them all, but um, the flowers, th that's a given. And then um, I got this one, I think it was about um, five, four or five months ago at um, Tuesday morning. And it's a Kelly Creates stamp. And I'm trying to see. It's uh, 348273 is the um, code. And what I like about it is it's, it's big. Um, so it will, I will be able to fill in uh, a big or a card with a big sentiment. I'm also going to try to see if I can pair this with the um, word strip stamps or word strips that I can stamp using this stamp set from um, Inspired by Stamping. It's called I Love You Because Stamp Set. And it just has the I Love You script and then all these other ones. But I'm figuring I just want the um, the smaller or the, the phrase words that I can combine with this. So that's my goal for that one. And then I have a die from Pretty Pink Posh. This one's the Hello Shaker uh, die. And of course you can make shaker cards with it, but I also think that I can use the word hello and just use that as a sentiment. And then also the frame. I love the frame. So I'm going to see if I can use that. Along with this, I pulled out my adhesive matte stack the Brights collection from DCWB. And um, this one, again, it says it has the adhesive. So it al already had, has the adhesive on the back. And that's what I'm thinking I could use with this, especially since this is an intricate die. So I'm thinking that I could use um, these cardstock for this particular die. So that's my plan for that. And then of course I have to have a pattern paper. Now I pulled this polka dot let's polka in the meadow from lawn fawn i pulled this out and this only has like really small uh designs like you see dots and then stripes smaller dots and then hearts now the reason why I, you pulled this one out is because i feel like i have the florals already with these ones that i don't really need any extra design so i'm gonna go with more geographic um, you know, basic backgrounds for my cards. That's the plan anyways. I don't know. I mean, I show these products to you without even, like I have some ideas in mind, but I haven't started anything. So I don't know if the, the thoughts that I have in my mind will actually go with the products that I have, but that's part of the challenge of this one. So that's my pattern paper. And for my finishing touch, I have this set of enamel dots. I don't remember where this came from. 
I do know it came from a scrapbook kit and as you can see some of, I've used some of it up already and so I'm hoping to just kind of finish this off and then because I have the florals and then this pattern paper I figured that I'm just going to go basic with my card bases I usually <coughs> excuse me pull out <coughs> different colors for card bases but I figured I'm gonna go with uh, neutrals this time just because this has a lot of colors and if I wanted to make backgrounds with the flowers that one will have a lot of colors as well so I pulled out three eight and a half by eleven craft and three eight and a half by eleven white now the reason why I picked six because um, I can cut this and make a two size cards so um, I will have if I, if I do five on the white and five on the craft, I will have a eight and a half by five inch left over that I can actually use to do my stamping on. I can also use the back side of this because it's white, but um, I also want to use this one up. So that is my plan for my next 10 handmade cards home one homemade kit video if you have any questions make sure that you leave it in the comment section below if you like these videos please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing and also um, if you hit the bell button the youtube will notify you when i post my next video so i usually do this every no every other month i share my latest 10 handmade cards one homemade kit and so i usually split that into three videos you're seeing the first part which is the product showcase or sharing the products i'm going to be using and then the next two will be the process videos four to ten handmade cards so make sure that you check that bell button so you don't miss that and i will catch you guys another day bye mm -hmm.